desire to go on, this road is forbidden to soldiers. Who are you to say that? A counselor of the city. Do you think that gives you the right to stand in the way of the Romans? I tell you, men, to stop, I beg you. For us, the road to the Acropolis is sacred. No soldier is allowed on it. You want to stop me from visiting the Acropolis? Get out of the way. You'll have to kill me first. Nobody can stop the Romans. Ah! Anitis, don't cry. I have done my duty. And I'll join the others who've died for our country. You'll be avenged, Father. You kill my father, but one day you'll pay for it. I didn't kill him. I never fight against women or old men. You're a liar! No one can call a Roman a liar. You let me go! Not before you get the punishment you deserve. Let go of that ah. beggar. Stop that, Rufus! Leave her alone. Who are you to dare speak to me in that way? One of your mercenaries. My name's Spartacus. You'll regret this, Spartacus. Now get out of my way. Not before I've stopped you from mistreating her. Soldiers, arrest this man. He'll be judged by Crassus with the others, and she'll be slave to Sabina. What is he here for? Disobedience, Marcus Licinius Crassus. He refused to fight when we stormed the city. In the legions of Rome, there's no place for men like him. Sentenced to death. The next. And what's he done? His name is Spartacus. He's a Thracian mercenary serving as a soldier under my command. He was never very good, but now he's a traitor, and so must be punished since he is guilty of a brutal attack against a superior. Yes, against me. Listen to me, Crassus. Silence, you. Speak, Rufus. He dared to strike me in defense of a Thracian woman who tried to stab one of us. It seems that the Thracian instinct is stronger in him than his duty as a soldier of Rome. But the discipline of Rome cannot tolerate such a violation. And the penalty will oh, be... Oh, Father! What's that? I what forgot. did you say? Some important news I had forgotten to tell you. Excuse me, I'm so sorry, but the emotion I felt seeing you... Explain yourself. It's about that lawsuit of yours. Has it been judged already? Cicero has won a triumph for justice and right. I've life. lost the You've case. You've won it! Oh, the gods have earned all our gratitude! But noble Crassus, this man is awaiting your sentence. Just be still. Keep quiet for a moment. Well, what do I get? All the money you were suing for, and Cicero got all the lands that belonged to your opponents turned over to you. What a master young Cicero is, but I hate to think of the fee he's going to demand from me. Excuse my bothering you. What about Spartacus? Spartacus? Why must I be pestered? Who is Spartacus? He won't be a soldier anymore. He'll be a slave. We'll take him back to Rome with the others. Get him out of my sight!
badly? Uh, I think the dirty swine has broken my arm. Some fighter, that man, isn't he? Ah, uh, yeah. He's the kind you should get into your gladiator school. No doubt about it. He'll be fine. When I've trained him a bit... You'll make plenty of money out of him, Lebelus. Yes, I think I've found a pretty good fighter. I know you have. miserable slave. Do you think I want you to give you a rest? Pick it up. Jump to it, you fool. Calm down, Lentilus. Why should I train so hard? You know I'll win anyway. I'm not so sure. You're a great fighter. But that's no reason for not training better before the game. I don't want any of your advice. If I lose in the arena, I'll be through, as death will be the penalty. So why should you worry? Always the same story from you gladiators. I'm sick of it. I spend my money and my time. I build you into physical marvels, and when I'm just about to collect, you fail. Because you've been too sure of yourself, you're defeated. And I lose everything. And what a fine pair these other two make lounging around. Don't think that I paid such a high price for you just to give you a holiday. Go on, get a move on, or I'll slap you into action. Throw him into a cell. And the other one, too. Chain them up. They'll go without food for two days. I've handled tougher slaves than those. All right, chain them up. Hurry up. Forget you're not a dancer anymore. You're my slave and nothing else. What is it? Marcus Berenius Rufus asks to be received by you, mistress. Let him wait. No. Show him in at once. I really couldn't let you leave for Naples without paying you a farewell visit. The hour's a little unusual. This is the first time a man has come so early to pay me a visit. <laughs> Here, take the mirror and come back to lace my sand. She's rather inefficient, but she'll learn. I wish you would do your work better. A slave should guess what her mistress wants. And now, come on, lace up my sandals. She's difficult to train. But then slaves are really all the same. She seems to interest you. Have you come for me or... I'm afraid I'm rather repulsive, darling. Well, Amitis, could you really object to a man as handsome as Rufus? War is full of strange and sad happenings. In the heat of battle, it was my weapon that killed her father. It was really you, then, who killed the father of Amitis. Ah, soldiers have their duty. I couldn't avoid it. I thought it was Spartacus. That coward, he'd faint at the very sight of a spear. When you kill, you need the heart and stomach of a soldier, not the soul of a miserable slave like him. He's receiving the treatment that he deserves for his rebellion. The dungeon, the chains, the flogging. Imprisoned and beaten. And it's all my fault. 
Forget this slave, he interests you far too much. For a slave to be in love is a thing I will never permit. He spoke the truth, and I refuse to listen to him. Now that's enough, Amitis. My feet are much more important than all your foolish thoughts, and even than your existence, which is something that you must always remember. Are you suffering much? Well, what brings the daughter of Crassus here? Just this. If you listen to me, you can go free. Oh, yes? Contempt doesn't suit or help you, Spartacus. Lentulus is very cruel, and he hates you. But perhaps he'd prefer to sell you to a rich buyer instead of letting you rot in a cell. He won't let me die. I'm too valuable. If they don't murder you by whipping you, you will live in the arena, mauled to death by the beasts. Return to your palace now. I've heard enough from them. The others have spoken of your little ways. Everyone knows the habit you have of provoking all the men around. Does that mean that you don't find me beautiful? Yes, you're lovely. But I hate you. You prefer then to wait here for your death? For my death, no. My liberty. Your liberty? Would you also like me to free my new slave, Amitis? I don't think liberty is coming your way or hers. Without me, you won't leave this place alive. Don't be a fool, Spartacus. If you wish it, I can have you released immediately. I'm going to Naples. You can stay my house there. There will be good company, very good. Meaning yours. And your own mother's. I wanted to please you, and so I've bought her. Because I knew you'd be happy then. I don't believe it. It can't be true. Why should I be lying to you? Anyway, now you know where to find her. Good luck, Spot. more force and follow through. Get your back into it. You won't be a gladiator till you're 90. Lentulus! Lentulus! You've certainly made a mess of things. You know I bet on Spartacus. Why starve him to death? I'm not worried. He'll attend the games. But to get there, he'll have to crawl. He's not that weak. He'll be all right tomorrow. No, this time I think you've made a mistake. When he's had a meal and a bit of fresh air, he'll soon be strong again. I hope so, for your sake.
this your slave who's dancing for us now? Yes, but she's not just playing a role. She's living it. You seem to be deep in thought. Because something is going to happen that I've been waiting for. But perhaps you will be disappointed. None of our hopes is ever quite fulfilled. But today, things will be different. It is the story of a lovely maiden who vowed to love no man until she died. Then she fell in love with a sailor. And for breaking her vows, she was put to death. I don't think I've heard that legend. I invented it.
find you? I'll join you later, wherever you are. I'll be waiting for you. People are demanding their freedom, and I think they've earned it. Well, I don't. Romans! I refuse to accept liberty. For as long as there is a single slave in chains, I'll share his fate. Refusing the liberty they were offering you. I'm sure I wouldn't still be here if I had the chance you've just had. I've stayed awake nights thinking about it. I don't take gifts from our tortures, not even liberty. We'll free ourselves and soon. You're right. You lead and we'll follow you. We'll <laughs> So you dared to upset Sabina's plans. I'm going to make you pay for that. Do you think so? <laughs> You've killed him. That will cost you your life. I warn all of you others to keep away from us. We are armed and ready for you. Follow me. be lost. But they won't. Hurry up, you! Now they're free men. Soon they will be soldiers. We need soldiers now. At any second, I expect the enemy to appear. Our progress has been too slow. disappeared as soon as he saw us. I'll try to catch up with him. No, I'll go. Stop there. Spartacus. I'm eight.
I knew all along that I'd find you. I'd begun to fear we'd never meet, beloved. Oh, I searched everywhere for you. I searched so long. But at last I'm in your arms, Spartacus. All the slaves know you're their savior. I'll break their chains. There'll no longer be any slaves. They will live in this land as men, proud and free, building a new way of life. Rome won't be a city of hate. I'll go with you, Spartacus. And we shall never part. All my life I shall be yours. I've loved you, Amidis. From the very first day. And my love will live forever. Satisfied, my friend? Our ranks are growing, thousands are joining. If only I knew how to feed them all, and more than that, how to turn them into soldiers, then I'd be sure of victory. These barricades are completely useless here. It isn't possible for anyone to climb the cliff. Have them shifted over to the other side and take command while I'm gone. Salimbro! Come with me, I need you. I must find out exactly what our enemy's movements are. Right. Look after Amitis. Some people will be getting worried about us. But we haven't learned anything yet. We can't go back without information. We know Rufus is leading a legion against us, and we have to discover where they are. Hola. Romans. It must be the advance guard sent by Rufus. Too many of them for us to handle. You go that way, and I'll go this. We'll split them up.
It's nothing at all. The wound is not much to worry about. He's just worn out. He'll be on his feet in no time. Don't you worry. I'll look after him myself. I couldn't leave him in better hands than yours, Sabina. Now go away and come back at dawn. I'll take good care of you. Good night, Sabina. You're in my hands. You are mine. They've put a price on your head. They want you. But not as much as I do. The situation is serious. Luckily, new groups are joining us. They bring food. But not enough for all of us. We must come to a decision now that Spartacus is gone. I suggest we move out. Octavius, I know how you feel about Spartacus, that you resent being second in command. But you can't go against his orders. He's placed all his trust in you. We should stay here and wait. As for me, I won't leave the camp until he comes back. Listen, Spartacus started the revolt of the slaves. Now he's disappeared. I'll take command. Tonight we'll strike camp. You're mad. I've already told you that Spartacus wants us to stay. And if he doesn't come back? You know that the water is given out. We're forced to move. There's no other way out. We'll make a bid for the safety of Sicily. We'll go tonight. We're not striking camp, not before he's back. He's left you. Why not come with me? I love him. And if he's dead? If Spartacus had been killed, I would know it deep in my heart. It is so calm, so silent. Tell me, aren't you happier here with me than with the slaves? It is calm and silent, but I'm not happy. I can't forget so easily the friends who are waiting for me. You forget how long I've been waiting. You made me hate you and despise you. So this is how you gladiators make your great conquests. The only victory I want over you, Sabina, is to be revenged for what you tried to do to Ametis. Forget Ametis. Look at me, Spartacus. Why do you even speak of her when you have here at your side a woman worthy of you? How wonderful to feel you tremble with hate and desire. Since that first day in my father's camp, I long to be in your arms. Aren't you going to kiss me as a reward? The gods will punish you, Sabina. Why should they? They brought you here to me. My gods must feel quite sympathetic. Otherwise, I'd still be lonely and sad. Am I not right? Because from all hiding places, they chose this one for you, my love. It was an evil choice. The gods have forsaken me. Saved you, Spartacus. 
You're proud. You think you're a hero because you managed to break your prison doors, to free a lot of stupid sheep that'll soon come running and crying out for their masters. But fortunately, the one I desired found its way to me. Now I intend to keep you close to me and to make you happy. The Senate will refuse nothing to my father, just as my father will refuse nothing to me. I know that they're very anxious to be finished and done with this rebellion that you've started. Rufus will certainly break up the revolt and scatter the slaves. You think so? But it doesn't matter to us, my love. I'll look after everything for you. You're very strong and courageous, but not clever enough. I'll have Father get you a legion. You'll go to Spain, win a battle or two, and then when you return, all this will have been forgotten. And Rome will certainly acclaim you as a hero. And by that time, you will have found a new gladiator to make love. <laughs> You'll be happy, I know, Spartacus. You will see. You're just a child, a baby. You don't know anything of the world. After six months with me, you'll be a man. Mine. And living like a king. Tell me you accept all this and my love, too. It's so very easy. Just kiss me and forget all about your troubles. I don't know. Ah! Who's screaming out there? It is a slave, mistress. They're whipping him. Without my ordering it? Fabius did not want to disturb you. Go and tell Fabius to make him stop. Yes, mistress. Disgusting. These slaves really are such a nuisance. Come, my love. What's wrong? The night is finished, Sabina. That cry has broken the spell. Now I can see clearly. Have you lost your head? For a while, yes. I had lost my head altogether. I forgot all those who had put their faith in me so trustingly, even shut my ears to their agonizing cries. But I've regained my senses. I'm leaving now. They're waiting for me. Don't go. Don't go, Spartacus. Remain with me. And betray my friends? I love you. I'm no longer the selfish Sabina you hated. I'm entirely changed. Because at last I'm truly in love. The love I have sought all through these years. Mistress. What is it now? Forgive me, Mistress. But a soldier has come with word from Rufus, saying he's on his way here to see you. Tell the soldier I'd be happy to receive Rufus. I can't avoid seeing him. But I'll send him away quickly. Greetings, Sabina. Welcome to you, Rufus. Why are you here in Naples? I've got orders to break up and destroy this army of slaves and to capture the man who leads them. The first assignment is simple, but I'm not quite so sure of the second. Why do you think it is so difficult to find this Spartacus? Because he's always miles from wherever I happen to be. Yet perhaps he has never been so close to you as he is now. What is that you're saying? Nothing. I suppose he could easily be near here, somewhere in the hills, within sight of the villa. Oh, no. My dear Sabina, you give that traitor credit for too much courage. Believe me, he wouldn't dare come in here. He always stays in the out-of-the-way places where he can find easy prey. But nevertheless, being here by yourself is too dangerous. I haven't been alone these last few days. Who is your guest? Well, I've had company of a kind. But it wasn't a man. It was just a dream. A dream? <laughs> yes. It's all very strange. So strange I can't understand my dream at all. Spartacus appears in it, although he has never been so far away from me. Sabina, there's one thing I'd like you to promise before I go. 
that when I return victorious, you will marry me. You're certainly decided and very optimistic. And patient, too. I've waited for two years. You're just starting. Goodbye, Rufus. I will return and victorious. my brothers, you have fought valiantly. But courage is not enough. The might of Rome is too great for us. This is the end of our road. I knew you would return. Who gave orders to withdraw the sentry? I did. Were you planning to break camp against my orders? There's no other way out, Spartacus. Oh, there is another way. We will attack. All we face is certain death. The Romans are too strong. Be silent, Octavius. Listen, Spartacus. That is an order. Are you tired of liberty? Do you want to feel the whip again? Are you waking to be once more in the field, sowing the grain you never receive as bread? Do you prefer slavery? And you'll fight here with the hope of victory, or be torn by lions in the arena? You are right, Spartacus. Take up your arms, then. You were a slave in Capua. What was your work? I was chained to a plow and driven as an ox. And then when I'd finished plowing, I was harnessed to a wheel to draw water from a well. Let's see your back. Will you look, brothers? The only reward of a slave is scars. Do you all want the same treatment? No! Listen, my friends. Our ropes were not long enough by themselves, but together with the vines, they will reach the bottom of the cliff. My plan is to make a surprise attack on the Romans. The first men down will dispose of the guards and capture the horses. Then I will give you the signal. Now, not a sound. No noise, whatever happens. And good luck, everybody. Down we go.
absolutely by surprise. It must have been treachery. I assure you it would have been impossible, utterly impossible, to do otherwise. No one, not even Caesar, could have withstood the onslaught. There was only one thing left for me to do, get my troops back to Rome intact. Hardly intact. Minus 2,000, killed by a rabble of unarmed The 2,000 were expendable. I used them to cover the retreat of my best troops. I succeeded in this maneuver. It was what I consider a model of its kind, turning defeat into victory. Victory, he says. But Spartacus got away with all your equipment and supplies. That slave cannot put it to use. The proof lies in the fact that we returned unmolested to Rome. The enemy did not engage us in a single battle all the way. Your strategy is original. Why not tell all this to Caesar? He'd appreciate this lesson in tactics. If you lawyers were to mind your own business, the war'd go better. No war was ever won by fine eloquence. We should give you a crown of laurels for the Battle of Vesuvius. But unfortunately, Spartacus doesn't realize you've scored a victory through your maneuvers. He's marching on Rome. And you, Marcus Licinius Crassus, what are you going to do? Are you going to wait till Spartacus is at the gates of Rome before deciding what action you will take? You cannot ignore the Roman people's fear of these rebels. They can rest assured. There's no need to be scared into such a state over what is merely an incident. You call this violent upheaval of slaves an incident? Please, we must not lose our balance. What can he possibly do, this Spartacus, without food, without money, and having only a rabble to command? What you call rabble is becoming a legion. And by the time our generals wake up, they'll be storming Rome. In which case, they'll have a reception that will not lack war. Rome has put mightier enemies to flight. And she can do it again. Only it won't be Varinius Rufus, who will receive Spartacus, but Marcus Licinius Crassus in person. Myself. There is someone to see you, Spartacus. Who is it? The visitor would not say. It's a woman. She came without any escort. Tell her to come in. Who are you and what do you want? To speak to you alone. I have no secrets from anyone. I'll speak when we're alone. Leave us, Octavius. What do you want from me? I have brought a proposal from my father, Marcus Lucinius Crassus. Octavius. I'm leaving, Octavius. And while I'm away, you will take command. How long will you be gone? I'll return at daybreak. This time you'll follow my orders. Remain here and do not attack before I return. Perhaps our future will depend on it. I shall obey. He left us. And this time for good. You mean he... He has abandoned us. He went with Sabina. It can't be true. I know it can't be true. He told me she was an evil dream. Believe me, Sabina came and he left with her. When she appeared, he didn't hesitate a minute. He just followed her without looking back. This meeting was not my idea, Spartacus. I had absolutely no reason to send for you. But since you're here, you may as well be told the situation. I have ten times as many men as you. There's no hope for you. Ten Romans against one of my men, you'll need them. The odds are against you. Your head is a little swollen after one easy victory. 
But now you're facing Crassus. If you'd had no fear of me, you wouldn't speak to me this way. It's no use pretending, Crassus. It's in your interest we're speaking, not in ours. The battle is lost before it has begun. Believe me. The battle is lost for whom? For you. What do you plan to do? Capture Rome? Exactly. Do you perhaps think you will destroy the Roman Empire at the same time? Are you mad enough for that? But suppose that by a miracle, you succeed in capturing Rome. It will be the end of you. You'll be caught like rats in a trap and dealt with. You'd be held within an iron ring. You think so? And what would stop me from driving forward and conquering the North? Caesar's prepared for that. He's waiting right here for you. Not the slightest hope for your army there. It doesn't matter. If I take Rome, I'll become master of the South. Ten legions are arriving from Spain to attend to you in Naples. You mean you really believe that you can smash our empire with your miserable slaves, Spartacus? You had better think of your own future. I am taking Rome. But in such a bloody battle, you'll sacrifice those men who trusted you and believed you were a great leader. I want the slaves to win liberty for always. So they will, if you have your way, the liberty of death. We could perhaps discuss an alternative. <laughs> My friends, my brothers, I stand here for Spartacus, who brought me among you to fight for liberty. We've already tasted liberty, but we are in danger of losing it. Millions of slaves are still in chains. We must liberate them. We must destroy Rome. So let's go forward to victory. Spartacus will not be there, but he'll guide us with his inspiration. Follow Octavius, who is now in command. We will make an end of Rome and gain the liberty you've awaited so long. I might consider giving you one of our legions to command. I say once more, even if you offered a whole army to me, I'd still be uninterested. We'll meet next in battle. Crassus, why don't you stop talking? Arrest him now. And have him thrown to the lions. No, Rufus, we shall not break our word. The hospitality of the Romans is sacred. All right, Spartacus. I'll promise liberty for you and all your men. Crassus, the advance guard of the rebels is approaching. But that is impossible. They're attacking. So he disobeyed. Are you going to stop them? No. I'm going to die by their side. Spartacus. Please listen to me. I've no time or desire to. I know what you want to say, but I don't love you and never have. I don't believe it. When you held me in your arms so passionately, I'm sure it was love. I could not have been so mistaken. You are mistaken, Sabina. We don't have anything in common. You don't offer to join me and fight by my side, nor face death with me for the triumph of my cause. But you want me to forsake this cause and go back with you to a world I hate. Please listen to me, Spartacus. Don't leave me. I love you so. I know that I'm not worthy of you. I know it. But without you, I would be completely lost. Life would become worthless. I'm yours, Spartacus. If you leave me, I can't survive. I'll die without you. Goodbye, Sabina.
Yes, it's me, my loved one. I'm here. I knew I should find you. Yes, but it's too late. Don't say that. I betrayed you all, Octavius, Otto Reeves, Limbro. I made promises I didn't keep. I led you to disaster, not to victory. It wasn't your fault. This is the end of our road. All is lost. Even if this battle is lost, the fight will go on until victory is ours. Be at peace. Your example will be followed. The flame you've lit is still burning. It will burn until the world is free. Someday it will be victorious. <laughs> <laughs>